lift up the name of Jesus.
Good morning, everyone. I hope that you're having a wonderful weekend. Today's reading comes to us from Proverbs 6, verses 20 to 23, and it says, My son, keep your father's command and do not forsake your mother's teaching. Bind them always on your heart. Fasten them around your neck. When you walk, they will guide you. When you sleep, they will watch over you. When you awake, they will speak to you. For this command is a lamp. This teaching is a light, and correction and instruction are the way to life. Well, good morning, friends, and it's so good to be together. I'm still at the Lakeshore Camp in Coburg, but I'll be home very soon, and I'll be looking forward to seeing so many of my friends. God, you know, he's amazing. He performs miracles, and he does it for people. He does it in communities, and he's even done it many times for countries. And what it really tells us is that we need to go to God in our prayers and call out to him. And in the tough times, we turn to Jesus. In the tough times, we call out to God. These aren't easy times these days. They're tough times. And through the tough times and through the difficult days, Satan is trying to rob people. He tries to change what their heart desires. And he even sends fallen angels to sort of twist people around and get them going in the wrong direction. And evil spirits. And we have to deal with that. We want to enter into what God's plan is for us. God's plan. So in these COVID days, I've seen so many people who got twisted and they've just got battled by what Satan has tried to do and he's lied to them and he's got them going down a path and they have no peace. But if you have a desire, a desire to do the right thing in life, a desire to be a godly person. You want to walk away and pray against the evil that Satan tries to bring along and find what God has for you. You want to be free with the evil out and the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God in you. And I have talked to so many people during these days and they are going through it because somehow Satan has given them a twist that isn't true. We want to all of us bring our hearts to God. And you go back in the Lord's Prayer, and there it says, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. What we want is the will of God done in our lives on earth. We want to be godly people who know God and who pray and see God set us free from the evil that's all around us. Now God sent Jesus to earth to deal with sin and he sent him here so that we can be forgiven of our sins and he sent him here so he can change your life so you can have peace. Are you at peace now? Welcome God in the person of Jesus Christ into your heart and into your life and ask him to show you what he wants you to do so that he will guide you in the correct direction for life. You can pray, God, show me what you have for me. God, tell me what I'm supposed to do. And then God, by your Holy Spirit, empower me to do it. Give me godly points in my life that I hold on to and places where I connect with you and places that as I follow your will, I sense your peace in my heart. Just call out to God and ask him to send his presence and his peace into you. Ask him to clear your life of the sinful things that have been part of your 
life in the past. Just clear them. Remember them no longer against you. And put the priority in your life what Jesus has for you. There's the train going by. And you can ask God to remove the lustful desires that may come into your heart and show you the godly path, the sacred path that he has for you and give you the strength to walk his path. Pray the words if you've messed up. Jesus, I come back to you. Jesus, I thank you for forgiving me. I want your Holy Spirit to live and dwell in me. And I ask you to empower me to do your will. Put faith in my heart for you and what you have for me and purity in me so that I am walking a godly life. Restore to me the joy of my salvation. Oh, it's been so sad. People I've met who at one point were walking with God, but got all caught up in things of this world. And now the joy of their salvation is gone and the peace of God is gone. They need God to come back in them again. They need God to show them who they are and what they need to do to live a godly life. See, Jesus is the joy of our salvation. And so often in these days, people walk away from Jesus, but people need to walk back to Jesus. And if you've found yourself with some kind of an addiction or something that you're hooked into, you can ask him, call out to him in Jesus' name, break the power of this. In Jesus' name, set me free from it. In Jesus' name, make my life turn in the right direction so that I am living for you and doing your will. You know, you look at Jesus when he was here on earth. And when he said in his prayer, you read it in Luke twenty-two forty-two. Not my will, but thine be done. If there's ever anything we need to pray as we walk through this life, it's God, I want your will done in me. <clears throat> Give me the strength to do your will. Show me what I'm to do and the steps I'm to take so that the will of God is done in my life. And help me to walk away from the evil past that I've had, from the temptations that I've had. Help me to walk away from that on the path of righteousness that leads me into the place that you want me to be. Lord, you have a righteous path for all of us to lead us to heaven. <clears throat> and as we walk that path, what comes to us is the peace of God. What we experience in our life is the presence of God. And so many people today are just having the presence of conflicts and the presence of all these fears that they have overtaking them. What we need is the presence of God, the peace of God, the protection of God. And we need God to step up with us and show us and we need to follow the path he has for him. So make sure that these days these days you know the will of God and when you know the will of God you do the will of God. I've seen it happen so many ways these days. Some people have had a sense that they need to give something to God and his work and they've done it. 
and God has blessed them for it. Some people have felt that God wants them to go somewhere and do something for him. And they have gone in faith and God has blessed them for it. He's blessed them. And some people, they have the sense that God wants them to get something either in them or get something that they can use for him or get something that can be so used to do God's will. And they get it and they use it and it blesses them as they do. Much of the blessing that we find in life isn't because we're perfect people. It's because God brings us peace and blessing when we do what he wants us to do. Sometimes people have been robbed from the forgiveness that they need to give to other people. <coughs> and it has robbed them of the peace of God. Is there somebody you need to forgive? And how do you forgive them? I've gone through this in life a few times where people have done some things and it's so been hard for me to deal with. But I've had to come to the place where I have come to the place where I honestly, truthfully forgive them. And when I forgive them, I get blessed. When I forgive them, God does something for me. Don't let this time that the world is going through with Covis rob you of the peace that God comes to give you. In rough days, you can have peace. In difficult times, you can have peace. And just ask God, show you his will and do it. Can you imagine Jesus going to the cross? That was the will of God. Dying on the cross, that was the will of God. But Jesus did it in peace because he knew it was God's will and he was committed to it. What's the difficult journey you have? Bring it to God, ask for his peace, and do his will, and find what God has for you, enter into who you are as a person. Lord Jesus, in these days we give you our lives. We want to be faithful servants to you. Show us what you want us to do. If it's something we're to give, then show us what. If it's something we're to go to, show us where. If it's something that you want us to do, make it so clear to us so that we can go and do it for you. And help us, Lord, if there's people or things we need to grant forgiveness to, help us to be able to do that. And when we do, we know that you will bring us your peace. We ask this in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. And have a wonderful day as you serve the Lord. Amen.